Guys, I got to tell you, I found one of the worst takes I've ever seen on Twitter today, or X. Do we just commit to calling it X? Do we just go full on to X? Is it no longer Twitter? Are we just going full? It's X now? Anyway, I, I kind of baited it out. I didn't mean to. I just... Well, let me show you. I, I think it's best to maybe just show you what happened here. Okay, so the redheaded libertarian, I don't know if you know her, was calling out that tyrant of a governor down in New Mexico, trying to say something. I, I, I'll, I'll give you some more context. So a judge, a federal judge, basically shut her down said, that's some unconstitutional shit. How she's still governor, I have no idea. But but listen to this. Today, a judge temporarily blocked sections of our public health order, but recognized the significant problem of gun violence in the state. I refuse to be resigned to the status quo, and I will never stop fighting to prevent other families from enduring these tragedies. You know what I think was really, what, what this really was with this governor trying to make this unconstitutional unconstitutional push to get rid of guns. I think it was an attempt to move the Overton window, shift it, just running into it and just freaking shoulder checking it to try to like push it down the field. Right? Of course it's unconstitutional. Of course you have the freaking lefties coming out and going, we think that's just too far, unconstitutional. And everyone goes, wow, can you believe that they said that? Holy cow, maybe the left isn't so crazy. Meanwhile, they've just gained 15 yards down the field. Oh, wow, We're, we could let our shields down a little bit. And sure enough, they have gained ground. Of course, it's unconstitutional. Of course, a, a federal judge is going to get rid of that. But the damage is done. The Overton window has shifted more and more and more. I mean, look at the past 20 years, where we started to where we are now. Holy shit, we are in a completely different place. So I think that's what I think this was. But regardless, not really talking about that, although uh, hopefully you guys uh, find out that a judge did strike that shit down, which is great news. Don't get me wrong. I'm quite happy about it. And listen to uh, what Josie says to this woman. Dear uh, Governor Karen, the absolute tyranny you attempted over the citizens of New Mexico violated both the U.S. Constitution and your own New Mexico Constitution. You absolute demon. Simple. Accurate. Spicy. I love it. Fantastic. So she was quote tweeted by a interesting uh, character named Chris Jeffries. Jeff Jeffries? I don't know who this is. Doesn't matter. He just says libertarians are into their right to kill children. Now, I, I read that and I was like, okay. Josie was calling out the tyrant unconstitutional behavior from this governor, right? Nothing to do with children, although the governor was claiming to be basically striking 2A for the children. It's all for the children, to quote Nancy Pelosi. We know that's a whole bunch of crap. Criminals, uh, the trannies killing people, uh, which is a thing. I don't know if you notice. Or the people hopped up on SSR SSRIs and their mental brain waves are all freaking misfiring causing these tragedies or just again criminals or gangs stuff like that and i just wrote i bet you're pro choice because if you think about what abortion is um well uh, libertarians are into their right to kill children well what about abortion i bet you're pro choice and this this guy oh does he respond listen to this response Holy crap. I am. Because gelatinous vagina boogers aren't human. 
Then he says, go shoot some more toddlers, retard. Right. That, that's, that's what he said to me. I'm, I'm, YouTube, YouTube, that's not me saying it. I'm reading this insane response to me betting that he's pro-choice. Of course, he was pro-choice. Now, of course, I just was simply stating, I bet you're pro-choice. That could mean anything, right? But this guy obviously was just firing back and going crazy. So then he goes, there were 2,590 gun deaths among U.S. children and teens under the age of 18 in 2021. Of course, you have to look at ages 15 to 18 and how much of that was gang-related uh, in certain cultures, certain cities, <laughs> Chicago, <coughs> Baltimore, <coughs> you know, places that uh, they don't care about crime. Or Chicago's really bad. I've, I've talked about it, how the north side of Chicago basically just got rid of all low-income housing and just sent a whole bunch of gangs to the south side, and it's just gang wars. It's, it's crazy in Chicago. Huh. But that is absolutely insane. Abortion isn't killing a kid and then telling me to go shoot kids. Now, there it, I, I, I was in shock. I had to take a picture. I rarely take a picture and I should do it more. But look at this. I took a screenshot because I was like, he might delete this because this is absolutely insane. I just wrote, holy fuck. And there's some interesting things that have been coming out here give you one guess who wrote this post hint it's not john waters homeless romantic i'm guessing it's this uh one of these freaks is this john waters on the left i actually don't know who john waters is who's john waters guys i love this from toxic man flu shout out to uh toxic uh gun deaths among us increased 50 percent between 2019 and 2020 uh, it says uh what i find funny is no one mentions that 2590 in 2021 is the highest number since 1999 what was going on in 1999 perspective that is 0.00036% of the 73 million children under 18 in the US so it's actually an insanely small number and then this also doesn't take into account the gang violence. Like how many of those under 18 are just in gangs that are getting shot by, by gangs? I almost got shot when I was under 18. Would I just would have been this statistic? Guaranteed those guns were illegal that I got shot at. Razorfist says, wow, I guess it's all in the timing then. Right, because if, if you kill them when they're in the womb, they are just vagi gelatinous vagina boogers. Uh, but if they're outside the womb, unless you're in California because they have the whole post-birth abortion psychotic. I don't know what the hell California is wrong. What's wrong with California? But holy crap. Uh, yeah, so this this was the most insane tweet I've seen in a, in a very long time. I, I, I you can understand. I'm I'm sure. Right. Uh, yeah. 